Hi, this is the second video in Sales Structure Educational Series in which we're gonna define loads, different kinds of loads. So to start, we go to load definition and add did load one. Did load one accounts for self weight of the structure. So we add did load two. Then we add life load and finally wind load. Okay, that's enough for now. Then close it. As usual, we add loads from here. We have nodal load, bar load, and self weight and mass. And as you notice, we don't have surface load. So what do we have to do right now? Well, in this case, we have to press on this icon, which is snow wind loads 2D and 3D. Envelope, you select all of these items by pressing on auto they are all selected and when you notice here we have an extension here and this part is to the inside so so if we check on this box the software will not consider them okay and here we have the total depth which is the length of the structure so this um, industrial building has a length for example of 30 meters and base spacing is the distance between two successive columns this is the base spacing two successive columns the distance is six meters and we have just wind okay for more customizations we click on parameters and from here exposure category we have three different categories these categories can be taken from the code so this is the code which is the ASCE 2002 so we have different categories for example this one is exposure D a building at the shoreline it's not the intended one and exposure C which is open terrain with scattered obstructions having heights generally less than 30 feet and here exposure C flat open grassland with scattered obstructions having heights generally less than 30 feet it's not the, uh, the desired one and for exposure B structures in the foreground are located in exposure B structures in the center top of the photograph adjacent to the clearer to the left which is greater than 200 meters in height it's also not this one but but if we see here this uh, this picture it's ex exposure B we have urban area with numerous closely spaced obstructions having the size of single family buildings so this is the desired one so we choose exposure B we go back to robot structural analysis we choose exposure B and for building category we also can get it from the code ASC on page 35 I think yeah we have here different classific classifications uh, different categories uh, if you read them you will notice that we our category is number two so we choose category two and altitude above the sea level let's make it as for example 2000 meters which is the distance above the sea level and structural dimensions the height uh, as we said here we have five meters plus one that is six now move to wind tab and from here we have basic wind speed um, for example we make it as 85 or 80 80 miles per hour and wind directional factor this factor can be taken also from the code so if you win if we go to the code and uh, on page 107 
we have the direction factor. So for the buildings, mean wind force resisting system, we have 0.85. So we have 0.85 as input here. For the topographic factor KZT, if we don't check this box, it will be taken as 1. But if you want to manually insert these values, you can get them also from the code. So for the code, on page 78, we have the different values. Number 1, LH and X and H. What are they? So LH is the distance from the top of the mountain to the mid span of the uh, to the mid height of the mountain also. So from here to here it's LH. And X is the distance between the building and the top of the mountain. And for the H, H is the height of the mountain. So if these values are not known or you don't know them, you can uncheck this box and it will be taken as well. And for gust effect factor G, make it manual and insert the value. The value can be taken also from the code. On page 314, I think, we have here gust effect factor contains a single gust effect factor of 0.85 for rigid buildings. So we consider this building as rigid. So it's 0.85. Okay, so that's it for now. In the next video, we are gonna make this structure as 3D structure from here and uh, define wind loads. So thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and share. Bye.